Hey guys, Skyhound here, also known as the Geek Detective Pierce. So, a few weeks ago, I decided to finally watch this guy's show, and being a fan of Chris Angel and his work, well, I've seen most of his, all, all six seasons most of the episodes of his belief show and this was just going back to the roots of you know what how we started as the title suggests prior to the start of the show i did spot um a straight jacket and a few minutes before the start of the show he invites fans to actually inspect the jacket as well as get a picture with one of his assistants, her name was Tatiana, as I recall from one of the stage actors that was a part of the show. So, I decided to go out, inspect myself, and as you can see, that's her. And I did also, you know, was waiting in line, you know, like many others. And... Prior to watching the show, I decided to buy the booklet. Now, while we are not allowed to record, take photographs, you know, during the show, otherwise, you know, they'll escort you, security will escort you out. You will get no refund for, you know, your tickets and all that. You can order, or at least not order, but also buy on the shop, the souvenir shop, this official collector souvenir program. And usually these programs, they have an outline in terms of what's going on in the show. So this right here is um, how Chris, um, I guess I could say, makes an explosive entrance at the start of the show. And it explains it over here. This is the pre-show, which many fans, you know, see to the start of it. And you can see over here, if I bring it down, there is the straight jacket that he eventually uses. And then, you know, you see how the start of the show goes, which is the first part. And then you see this right here, which is as shown as materialization. Now, before I go any further, I will point out that while you don't see everything that is shown in this program, you do see bits and pieces. So every time you watch the show, you get a different experience. So this part right here, as it says, it's materialization. The page prior to that, this is how Chris Angel, you know, comes out from there. And then you can see on here the... This is one of the immersive um, acts of the show. And on this one, Stray Jacket as it's referred to, he's only given 30 seconds to escape from it. And what I recall, I'm not going to go into detail about everything, just a few. But with Stray Jacket, like I said, he's given 30 seconds. You see this projection of a city, I guess you could say probably New York, since he did also do it on Good Morning America. You see there's actually two huge, you know, mega fans on the left and the right, and they're blowing this confetti stuff, you know, in front of you. So me and my brother was actually sitting in the middle rear of the room itself now if you're in the middle like center and rear as those fans are going you're going to be getting a lot of it blown out of you so imagine a lot of these papers is just these tiny bits of confetti blowing at you at the force of literally a 747 jet that's what it felt like when he started spinning and getting out of that straight jacket. That's as much as I can explain right here. 
So another one that I really enjoyed, I'm just going through here. This one, this was shown during the um, trailer for promoting the Mind Freak show. Aptly known as Gamer, I actually found this one really good and pretty immersive in the sense that it appears as though Chris is actually, you know, going from outside the stage to inside and it's like he's inside the screen and he's fighting off these other, you know, minions. It gets to a point where you can see on this table there's um, a red cloth. What I did suspect is that he was going to disappear. What I didn't expect, however, was this part, which they show at the end. And for those of you who are fans of certain, um, I guess I could say slight modern classic films, you can see in the background here on this page that it's almost a reference to V for, v for Vendetta. While I've yet to watch it, I know there are likely many fans who enjoy the film and likely you can see, you know, you can probably guess what I was getting at before I even mentioned the title of the film. This one right here was probably my favorite of the show. And I like how it actually transitions from one to another. So this first part, um, the first part that happens is known as Phantasm. I mean, not Phantasm, Once Upon a Time. So this is the first bit. You can see over here there's a girl that's reading a book. And eventually it gets to the projection of the wings. And then, as she's turning the pages, the screen sort of, like, gives an explanation in terms of what she is looking at. And there's a point where you see Chris inside a cathedral-like um, setting. Which kind of gets into this part. And... He does the whole pulling of the doves and all that. What you don't see on here is on this side of the stage, there's also a tree and some of the doves, you know, are being led and trained, you know, to go either to the tree or over to um, a small, you know, cage. And they're trained to go to a certain spot. So, again, I was in the center, so the trajectory of some of those doves as they're trained, they went a certain way. And the way how um, Phantasm actually, you know, I guess you could say transitioned up to this point was really cool. And visually, like, this was like one of the really like, well-executed um, immersion tricks from my observation that he actually did. This segment, known obviously as The Club, this one actually was probably a hint and also um, a nod to the Mind Freak show itself. So what he does, what he does is get a few um, ladies to, you know, join him around the couch. And he does the whole phone in a glass bottle trick. And I recall seeing this pretty sure in season one somewhere. I don't remember which episode. But the next segment, known as Fear Alive, you can sort of see... These are probably like one of the two most common fears. One's for reptiles or snakes. I also have that. And then you have another one, arachnophobia. And the first um, video that comes out shows this tarantula. What is surprising though is that 
it's actually the same. When I was watching it with my little brother, I didn't know which one was going to come out first. Maybe this was probably the most common one as shown in Google. And eventually he did, you know, pull the tablet off slowly. And then this comes out, which scared everybody and shocked me. But that being said, there was a lot of other um, aspects of the show, which I will not go into great detail. You'll just have to see it for yourself. Again, if you do get the chance of watching Chris Angel's show and, you know, you like his work, you know, I highly suggest watching it. And again, you know, there is no photography, there's no videos allowed, you know, during the show. And I'll say this, when my brother and I were going, ex exiting out of the auditorium, as we were going down the stairs, I eventually heard from one of the security that, you know, some idiot, you know, broke the rules. And eventually, you know, they didn't learn and every everything else I just said came about. They don't joke about this stuff. They really take it seriously. So if you're going to be a dick and, you know, record and, you know, break the rules and all that, that's on you. They do this for a reason. But that being said, I would say like my general thoughts about this show is pretty clear. So the last part I want to cover is the obvious um, signature of Chris Angel, one could say, which is levitation. And this one really like, you know, put me in great awe and the usual. My brother didn't believe it at first. He was in complete disbelief and he thought there was actually like strings or something on there. But if you look on this part right here, I keep asking, you know, what makes you think there's actually strings? He is practically defying the laws of physics right here. And then, you know, he actually does the floating across between the stairs. I mean, not stairs, the ladder. <laughs> Can't believe I said stairs. And then he, they bring out this contraption where he's floating inside around it. And then eventually it closes with him, you know, lifting up his assistant Tatiana into the air. Again, do you see any strings around there? I don't. But what a way to actually, you know, close off the show. It was obviously like a heck of a sensory feast as people would say and i really enjoyed it if i had to give a rating i would say nine out of ten for sure would i watch it again absolutely without a doubt if i'm ever in vegas again but for those that really like the show i would highly recommend if you like magic check them out it's over at planet hollywood you guys won't regret it but anyway, yeah, that's my general thoughts on Chris Angel Mind Freak. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, you know, if you want to leave your thoughts in the comments below, feel free to do so. But yeah, this is Skyhound, also known as the Geek Detective Pierce, signing off for now.